Here we are, I'm going to show you how to roll out a slab of clay. It's very easy. PVC pipe works just great, as does a rolling pin, or even a soup can would work just as well. So just go ahead and roll it as if you would roll out a piece of dough for a pie. I noticed it was sticking on the table, so um, I just pulled that off there. Now, here I have a roll of tape to make a circular cut out of the clay. It's funny how often we think that we can't make a good circle because we can't unless we have something like that. But it's really easy to find something circular at, at home. So here it is. Um, this is the base of the top part of my sculpture that I'll show you when I get finished. And now I'm going to get another pattern for a little larger piece. So this is actually a container for epoxy sculpt, which I use frequently to repair sculptures after I've fired them. And there I am removing the excess material. Now I'm going to take this clay and I'm going to put it over something to create a different shape because I want a dome-like shape on top of the the base shape so here I have a glass and I was just checking to make sure that the diameter of the glass was similar to the diameter of the tape so here I am going ahead and gently putting that on the top now obviously there's um, some clay that I need to kind of squish together on the bottom so it works so I'm using I'm going on opposite corners here so that it doesn't create a big lump somewhere so as I, after I did this, then I will go ahead and pull this off and put it on again with a piece of tissue paper underneath so that it doesn't stick to the glass and it's easy re to remove without um, deforming it. So there I am with the paper. And there I am fixing that. So the next thing I want to do is create a series of circle holes in this piece. And so I found the top of a Sharpie marker and pulled that off and just started punching holes in the piece of clay with the marker top. After punching all those holes, I found myself a tool. A needle tool will work just as well even the tip of a sharp knife would probably work and I'm pulling out all those little circles so that there are lots of little holes all over the whole piece. After I get all of these punched and pulled out I'm going to refit the top back onto that base you see right next to it to make sure it's a perfect fit and then I will put them in the oven at about 200 or 250 degrees just so it can dry and get stiff. This next thing I'm showing you is a very easy way to make coils. Um, as you notice at the beginning I had a rectangular piece of clay and I just twisted it and then I started rolling it and um, it's super fast. I used to, to get big chunks of clay and it used to take a lot longer but um, I learned this from Graham Hay so he just cuts rectangular pieces of clay with his cutting wire and just rolls them out. So what I'm doing here is I'm showing you another thing that I learned from Graham Hay, a way to make really interesting um, kind of curly coils. So I, I've rolled them all out and now I'm getting a paintbrush but you could really use almost anything and I'm wrapping them around this paintbrush so that they're kind of twisted and then I'm going to also put this in the oven at a low temperature so that when I pull that out they'll separate really easily and um, I can continue with the project. 